Hey y'all, it's Kara. This is Crusader Kings 3. This is a succession game with Enigmatic Rose 4. I will leave a link to her video if you want to see how this all started. It's a really cool, like, novelish story, and I'm honored to be a part of it. Let me summarize it for you. Queen Victoria, on her coronation, closes her eyes and wakes up in, like, a weird, gender-bent version of the medieval world. And then I believe Rose managed to form England. So again, if you want to see more about that, I will leave a link in the description, in the eye card, just if you want to go see it. She left me like a big scary war, but um, apparently she managed to draw a white piece, which was the last thing Victoria did before she f***ing died. But here's where I'm at. She left me a dangerous world and a sadistic character. I think you know the game I'm about to play. Also, I have a side quest. My heir right now is not a lady named Victoria, which is a problem <laughs> if we want to keep the line of Victoria's going. So I'll see if I can figure that out. I am very unsure of like how to continue this you know, 3,000 troops, negative 700 piety, and we're losing piety every month because we're sadistic and vengeful. Understood. <laughs> Understood. So we're not doing super well, I guess. But our capital is London. Oh, Caneo, I love the hot pink. That is hard to look at. You're actually going to like me when I put you on the council. Steward, you're still going to hate me, but you're going to have to deal with it. Marshall, yep, going to hate me. Spymaster, you would actually like me if I put you on by one, by plus one that's good enough. And my archbishop is not endorsing me. Why does she hate me so much? Sadistic, vengeful, sadistic. Okay, you can't dislike me twice for this. Yeah, we, we do have a lot on our plate. My husband looks like he's just happy to be here. Yeah, I think we just have to go through the diplomatry. I think that's how we make it out of this. And try to hold back against the Vikings that are going to be a problem even after this war. I don't know how she even got a white piece. Like, that is a lot of troops. And I think it was declared on by them. Yeah, look at that. If I could get one alliance, I would feel a lot better. Prince of Brittany. I think this will work. They are related and there is a risk of their children being inbred. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Perfect. Love to see it. May he watch over us until the next grand raid. I would love to know what they're doing out there. You think they're like, oh, I'm not gonna say it, but you think? You think? So here's my problem. Jorvik is here and they're big. Jawland is here and they're scary. Sudriar is here and they're scary. I don't know what I can do. I'm pretty sure I have a claim over here. Yeah, thank you. Ooh, witchcraft induction. My daughter has a witch secret. I can't believe my daughter has 30 prowess. I'm just over here suffering. Suffering with nine. Oh my god, they're fighting over here. Hang on, get in here. Get in here. Oh boy, that was a hard fight. <laughs> Look at why is she standing like this? That uh, That is a nerd neck. <laughs> Why is she standing like this? I didn't expect them to magic up another army from somewhere, but I guess it happened. Looks like we won this war. Now my duchess actually likes me. Now I can ruin that by modifying the feudal contract. Yeah, you're, you're gonna give me more levies. Sorry. Your, your feudal contract's gonna suck now. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Sorry, homegirl. <laughs> Anyways, now that's a part of England. Mary is... <laughs> That hat looks so big on her. Mary is a part of this kingdom. Anywhere I would, I would want to go is like a part of a different kingdom. What a fantastic situation I'm in. Call a hunt. Hope I don't die horrifically. I do have some prisoners, I suppose. I could execute them. Yeah, sorry. This man sorry. This woman, I, yeah, sorry. They're, they're not worth anything, so. Three. You would give me three. Just a little bit of execution. A little bit of execution. I guess you can go. I, I guess you're fine to leave. You know, Dread is pretty good. Prevents people from trying to do, like, weird and shady stuff to you. Dread is always good. Elizabeth can marry my daughter. I have a feeling she would be happier if she didn't. Um, it's fine. Whatever. Alright, my archbishop likes me now. Good. Maybe I can actually, nope. I'm losing more piety than ever before. Man, this game is hard. Jawland is allied to Bergeslagen. Man, am I concerned about where we're going right now. My daughter tried to murder one of the family members of someone. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. I think this is a good idea. She'll just step into my prison. I don't know what to do with her now, if I'm being honest. I could torture her. What would happen if I executed her? I'll gain the trait Kinslayer, which like, it's a crime, but whatever. Allowing you to execute her without being viewed as a tyrant. Sorry, daughter. Thank <laughs> you.
Yikers. <laughs> Sometimes things just have to happen. Your sinful acts come at a cost. I knew that was gonna happen. But look at how much piety I'm losing anyways. Like, come on. It was just my second daughter anyways. I was just feeling stressed, you know? I had to loosen up a little. I mean, I know I'm being like a horrible, awful tyrant right now, but, but if I, listen, if I denounce my daughter, right? If I denounce her, then I can imprison her. And when I imprison her, she can refuse and like try to raise up an army, but I have an army too. So like, whatever. And then when, when she says no, inevitably, Yep, I, I knew that was gonna happen. Fight down this little rebellion against my daughter, and then the younger daughter will inherit. I mean, if you go down this path one time, you might as well just keep going. Like, I, I don't know. I have nothing but dread to lose, so I'll torture her. You know, I do like this whole thing of like, oh, we are the Bloody Mary. <laughs> I am having fun with it. My dear mother, I cannot stand this imprisonment any longer. Would you accept this offer in return for my freedom? No. <laughs> Do you not understand? I have you in here for a reason. <laughs> She's actually doing like pretty okay. Man, what, what a monster I've turned this woman into. To be fair, she is sadistic and vengeful. Like, I think it's in her nature. I didn't do anything that wasn't already there. You know what I mean? And maybe just maybe. It's keeping people from doing anything to me. Like, just maybe. All right, my daughter died in prison. I'm literally not even stressed at all. <laughs> <laughs> no stress. Man, who would have thought? So now our heir is Matilda. All of this has just been in the name of like getting as good a character as possible to, to inherit the throne. Sorry, daughters. Do you know how many generations of Victorias have built up England? Two, actually. Two. <laughs> That's how many. Two. Wait a second, you're declaring war on me for the Earldom of Nordlingen. I own the Earldom of Nordlingen? Dude, when did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm sorry. I'm just like tunnel vision focus over here. Why do I own territory over here? I don't want it. I don't care. I literally don't care. Just take it. I'm gonna lose it when I die anyways. It's, it's gonna become independent, I think. <laughs> How did I even get that territory? That is so funny. At least I managed to gain one county. There we go. I stretched out England a little bit. Man, this woman is so evil. Man, I don't know. I think I I think I disinherit my granddaughter. Yeah, I'll, I'll just disinherit my daughter. So that way the better character gets to play. I'll disinherit my daughter. Sorry. I know. Hey, I did it though. I got another Victoria in the line. Perfect. England looks a little bit bigger now. Starting to get there. I guess I could also host a grand raid again. Sure, man. Why not? Oh, and there we go. I have died. A Queen Victoria II of England has found peace in Christ's embrace at 73 years of age. Sure. She died of unknown causes, known to have stained her hands in the blood of her own kin. She is surely paying for her horrific crimes in hell. There's a Victoria III. She's a pretty good character from what I can tell. Victoria II had a, a fun reign. And now there's another Victoria on the throne. You're welcome. I hope you have fun. <laughs> what a wild and like messed up game. What a bizarre game. <laughs> Again, you should go subscribe to Enigmatic Girls 4. Thank you for watching. This has been Kara, and I'll see you in the next video.